Hey guys, it's Happy Nirvana. I am doing something a little bit different today, and this is actually the second time around I'm recording this because first time I, I got stuff laying on top of the laptop and I hit the wrong button and it screwed the recording up. So this stuff's already out of the box, but I'm going to show you the box anyhow. It's Choco Beer. It's either Car or Carri Chocolatier Belgian beer filled chocolates. Now we're going to see if we can do this again without knocking everything off. And on the back gives you the, all, all your information. Bing, bing, bing. That's my phone going off. We got a it's either Crike or Creek. I don't speak Belgian. <laughs> Max. There's actually two of them, but they're slightly different shades. Um, Rose or Rosé. Do something about the lighting in here. I don't know if that'll help or not. Probably not. Probably won't matter. Palm. Rodenbach. Grain Crew. And... I can't even read this one. It's something zot. And then we have Cornet. I know nothing about Belgian beers. I just seen this and I thought, well, that's kind of different. I thought that would be kind of neat to try. So we're going to go with the... Uh, uh, supposedly you can bite top off these and drink it, so we'll see if that's the case. So this is the cherry. It's going to be strange talking about Belgian chocolate this way, but I was having someone with a similar problem with the um, these vodka filled chocolates I have. It's almost like, I don't know if it's because the import, maybe it got too warm or something, but there's almost like a crystallization that's happening on the inside home. It's making the uh, chocolate taste a little off. I go with the rosé. Which I wasn't aware of. I'm not a big beer drinker, so... I guess I didn't realize there was a rosé beer. Usually, I rosé I associate with wine. Got a real strong sweetness. I'm just gonna drink the liquid out of these. Um, cause I'm not training for the chocolate at all. 
Um, I don't know if you probably can't tell with the camera. There's like a whitish film in there, and it's that crystallization. Like I said, I don't know if that's from when they imported it. Got too warm or something. The rosé is uh, definitely a lot sweeter than the cherry. And with the uh, palm. Ooh, I don't like that at all. So uh, this is kind of like a beer flight in a, a sense, but now the Rundbach Grand Cru is pretty good. Might be the best one I've had so far. And now we're going to go with the Zot. I almost want to just, you know, pinhole these and just get rid of the chocolate because the chocolate is just uh, terrible. It's not okay. Nothing real special. Last one. Cornet. Honestly, I had to do so over again and not buy them. I would hope it's just an import problem. Maybe it's just this, this batch, but oh uh, boy. Not worth the money I pay for them. Um, I think if I had to do it all over again, I would just do a straight beer flight and try the beers. But, um,. I want to kind of keep it on the lighter side, even though I'm going to have, <clears throat> or I might have alcohol infused candy every now and then. That's the point. I want to keep it on the candy snack side of things. So, yeah. Thumbs down for the, I would not suggest it. Um, if it was fresher, maybe, but... I, I, I hope that maybe that's an isolated case because I have bought other alcohol f uh, infused chocolates and they've been really good. Um, the whiskey and rum ones are very good. The beer ones. So, there we go. Stay away from the Belgian beer flight. Until next time, this is Happy Nirvana saying, bye.